Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In the comments from yesterday's video, a lot of you were mentioning the possibility of a seat belt sticking out of the back of Kylie's CRV. I take handwritten notes, so it's a possibility I was looking down at my pit and paper when this flashed up on the screen. And I've gone through the video a few times and to be honest, never really caught this. It flashes by pretty quickly, so it's no surprise I didn't see it. But I went back this morning and it's definitely there. So let's talk about it. Oh, and stay tuned to the end of the video for a giveaway announcement. This does look like the end of the latches and the belts that are in the back of an SUV. To be honest, my Honda Fit hatchback has straps in the very back and these hook type things um, mainly for my son's car seat. There are these like hook type buckles, you know, because you can see that it kind of looks like it has that bulge at the end of the belt, the way that, um, the ones that don't have the clip have, you know what I mean? And it does look like it is shut in here on purpose. I mean, I really can't say shut in here on purpose because I've accidentally shut straps and stuff indoors before so it could be coincidence that it's sticking out like that but it is obviously from what I can see coming out of the passenger side of the vehicle and if I'm not mistaken that's also the same side that her body was on so it definitely could be relevant. Now, if they were using this strap to like keep her in the hatch area of the SUV and with the vehicle upside down, wouldn't that mean that her body would have been like suspended? Like her legs and her arms would have been like down because her body would have been pressed up against the floorboard, which is now at the top instead of the bottom. Like, maybe she would still be kind of floating, but I feel like she would be, like, hanging there, you know? And I feel like if she was hanging off the floorboard, that Nick would have noticed her body, like, almost instantly if she was just kind of, like, dangling there from being strapped down to the floor, which is now the roof because it's upside down, you know? Someone did make a comment about what if they were using it to hold her body down to stop her from floating out of that broken window. Or it could have been because they knew they were going to be rolling the windows down in order to let more water in and so they didn't want her to get out that way. I verified a million times at this point that that back driver's side window is definitely rolled down. There is a straight line where it's rolled down halfway, which is pretty normal. Windows in the back normally don't go down all the way. The back passenger window and the driver's side window at the type of all eyes are completely intact and up and closed. Passenger front window broken out, according to Nick. At this point, we can only verify that the driver's side window was completely intact. Just because we see the passenger window broken doesn't mean that it was broken prior to it going into the water. It could have happened if it just landed a certain way that just cracked and shattered the window. I don't know though guys. We could probably literally sit here and speculate forever because everything in this case is such a mess. Oh and now they're stating that they're not going to be releasing any information until at least November the 1st. So it is a little strange to me that they're giving us a date but they haven't said anything. Maybe it's because they know that we are like super upset with them. And they don't want to come out with any information that's not like super on point and actually going to lead to something relevant. At this point, it's been some weeks since Nick the Roadside Guy told Adventures with Purpose about this footage. And we haven't even heard a peep. 
from law enforcement about if this was even being reviewed or not. Now you'd think after the interview came out that we would have gotten something from law enforcement. Something. No, not a peep. Speaking of Nick the Roadside Guy, I want to try to clarify some things. I've mentioned before that he did not drive a tow truck because I don't believe he drove a tow truck. What is being assumed here because of the way that the wording has been is that he works for AAA or something like that, but that's not true. From other internet sleuths finding his social media accounts and whatnot, he works for the California Freeway Patrol, which is where a citizen of California can just call 511 if they're stuck on the side of the road, and a patrol truck will come out and try to help you. Now, there's a service truck, which is most likely what Nick would have been driving out there, and then they have a fleet of tow trucks, but the tow trucks are only dispatched if they know right off the bat that they're going to have to tow it, but if it's a dead battery call or I'm out of gas or something like that, it's the service truck that comes out. The tow truck won't show up unless the service truck can't do their job right. So that would almost ensure that whoever this was was trying to be secretive because this wasn't an insurance related service, obviously, that came out to help them. This was a free to the public anonymous type service. But yeah, I just wanted to go over the strap that was hanging out the back hatch because like I said, I honestly, I didn't catch it. I didn't catch it at all. Honestly, before we can speculate all that much about this little strap piece sticking out, we also have to keep in mind that in the AWP video, the question of her being buckled was asked. Now, the answer AWP gave was no, but that could just mean because she wasn't seat belted in normally. And there's also a possibility that if this strap is actually connected to her in any way, Nick might not have actually been able to tell. Now we wait. I mean, all this speculation and trying to think is, is great. That's what I'm here for, to have, you know, conversations about these things. But it's not doing any good, guys. Unless someone actually talks and the truth comes out, it's all just a guessing game. I want to give away some money. So, I'm almost to 4,000 subs. Once I hit that number, I'll be giving away a $10 Amazon gift card to a subscriber. So if you're here, and you're watching, and you love Amazon, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys.